Hey, how's it going? If you're on a Mac and you're trying to install East-West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra and you don't want to waste a ton of time like I did, then go ahead and watch this video real quick and I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. So if you got it real deal, if you actually bought the product, you got it in the mail, um, it comes with this paper that says attention. Uh, go to these crazy long URLs which are printed out and they're underlined and they're using underscores in the URL. So that's if that's not difficult enough, um, I'm just going to save you some time. And what you need to do is you need to go to soundsonline.com forward slash support videos. All right, so you can just, uh, I can't really zoom in, but uh, yes, I can. This is a Mac. So yeah, this is it. Soundsonline.com support videos. There's a little dash, and there's a capital S, and there's a capital V. So once you get there, essentially what they're saying for you to do is for you to watch the play update install first, then the off wizard error Mac, and then they don't actually say to do this, but you have to do a content only install on the Mac. All right, so let's do this real quick. Um, <clears throat> if you watch the play update install, Basically what it says is go to soundsonline.com forward slash support, download the play update software. So go ahead and download that. I've already done that. Uh, and um, all right, so then that comes in a zip file, double click that, and then that should open up into a folder. Well, I'm not going to do that because I already did it. So, okay. This opens up into this folder, right? First, what you want to do is run the uninstaller first. And, you know, some people get worried, I guess, that you're going to lose all your samples. You're not going to lose your samples. Apparently, all you lose is the, the old software. So, don't worry about having to reinstall all of the, you know, strings or piano or gypsy or whatever. Um, don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure this works for everything that's screwed up with theirs. Okay, and then the next step is install the updated software, the updated play software. Just hit continue, agree. Okay, now here's where you need to be a little bit tricky. You have to do um, exactly what you're installing. So you, you click the authorization tool because you want that. And then let's say you're using Gypsy, use Gypsy, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just doing the platinum. So I'm doing EOSQL, platinum, brass, strings, and woodwinds. So that's all I'm going to do. And go ahead and install that. That's going to take a second. I'm going to pause it while it's installing just so I don't waste your time. So it says it was installed. Go ahead and close that. And then what you need to do is go to the hard drive, go to your applications, go down to do 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 do, do. where is it? East West. Double click the author whoops. Double click the authorization little authorization wizard pops up. You put in your email, put in your password. This is the password for the sounds online which is the east east west thing put in each of your authorization codes you authorize each each code that you are given in your package but before you even do that what you have to do is go to ilock.com sign in create an account have an ilock that's like whatever 50 bucks you know dongle that you have that plugs into your computer install this install this under download this is the client installer and this is the driver installer have those installed ready to go and then then that's when you enter all this information in and authorize each of them each time then only after all that setup is done only after all that then you put in your first disk come over here I'm just putting my first disk so we'll see should see that pop up and then you run the content only install right here 
I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So you don't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. So the, uh, the orchestra disc pops in and make sure you know which one you're using. Um, platinum only has 16 discs. So Platinum Plus has whatever, 24 or whatever. So if you have 17 discs, that's how you know if you have Platinum versus Platinum Plus. So 17, you would have Platinum Plus. Um, and then here's what you do. You basically, you uncheck everything else. Let me see here real quick. What the hell? Um, alright, well I hope it doesn't install these. Alright, so... If you hit this, waiting for other installations to complete, because I just... Oh... God... Oh... Okay... Well, it seems to be writing anyways. I don't understand. Well, this should work. Um, I'm going to stop the recording, and I'll report back at the very end if it worked. Let you guys know. Good luck. Alright, so I double-checked, and my Play Libraries folder is getting bigger, so at this point I'm just going to conclude that it's installing. Alright, good luck.